Yeah, we can get started. All right, let's go. As you all know, Joey's not here. He's frolicking in uh, Europe somewhere. So that leaves some of us to help with the um, team meeting and other tasks. So I'm doing, I'm kicking this off and then Dragon is going to take it over. Is there another slide before we get started with the video, Carly? No, it just goes straight to the video. All right. Well, Sunday is Father's Day. Sunday is also Juneteenth. Um, and now that it's a federal holiday, yay. Um, lots of people um, get to take advantage of that on Monday the 20th. But because it's a federal or just became a federal holiday and hasn't been a really widely known um, holiday, the Social Equity Committee thought that we would do a little brief video about Juneteenth and what it means. So let's go. What is Juneteenth? Juneteenth is an annual celebration on June 19th that commemorates and celebrates the end of slavery in the United States. Now, although President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation freeing slaves in January of 1863, it wasn't until June 19th of 1865, two years later, that Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas with the news that the war had ended and that the enslaved were free. After this, over 250,000 slaves across Texas learned that they were finally free. We celebrate June's, um, Juneteenth uh, really as a kind of symbol of the end of um, black bondage in the United States. It's not the date in which everyone found out that they were free or were able to claim their freedom, but it is a great symbolic date um, of the end of slavery in the United States. And that's one of the reasons why, as we are people who continue to fight for equality um, and social justice in the nation and in the world, that is why it is such an important date. Juneteenth civilizes today, I think, uh, the promise that African Americans will be equal citizens within the United States. This came at the, as, as the result of a very long and bloody war. And um, it also came as the result of many, many, many Black and allied um, people who sacrificed their lives um, for this freedom. Dr. Stevenson says early celebrations included prayer, music, dance, and readings of the Emancipation Proclamation. Today, she says there's usually good food, family gatherings, and parades. So I think it's very important for everyone um, who is a citizen or who wants to know about the United States to know about the freedom struggle of African Americans and what has been done to enhance that struggle, what has been done to thwart it, um, because it really is, as I say, part of U.S. history. It's not just African American history. All right. Thank you so much for playing that for us, Carly, and um, happy Juneteenth on Sunday. And what do we have next? All right, Dragon, are you there? I'm going to let you roll with the tell me something good and take it from here. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Tracy. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. This, uh, for many, I guess, first week of summer break with uh, all or most, at least most of the kids out of schools, you know, like for the, you know, like parents uh, as well. And uh, tell me something good, like what has been happening, what you're excited about. Any vacations planned? Well, I'll jump in. The morning, the morning people from the, the morning show know, but I've had a heck of a time trying to get help my daughter um, remotely find an apartment, her and her roommates find an apartment in New York, and they finally did. So that is something good, thank God. <laughs> That's amazing. That's yes. very, very amazing. I'll actually call you about that later. Oh, okay. But... 
Okay, well, I'm happy the school year is over. So, you know, <laughs> I can focus now a little bit more on work. And I'm glad the kids are going to get some well deserved uh, a break. And it was wonderful to see some of the kids of our agents graduate, you know, like in the last couple of weeks, like very exciting time for everyone. And, um, you know, Hopefully everybody is either on vacation right, right now or has something planned for the summer as you know, I'm so, so glad that Joy had the opportunity to get out and so hap happy to help while he is away. So um, let's go to the next slide. So the mega agent camp is on August 23rd and 24th uh, and the uh, early bird tickets are on sale right now. The mega camp is happening in uh, Austin, Texas. So um, you can go and um, be there in person and this will also be, you know, like, you like we're able to attend virtually so you like there's different um the price tickets for both and um i believe joey and a couple of people from the office are going i don't know if anybody who is here is planning to go to austin tracy are you and lorna maybe considering going no, that's my birthday weekend. I don't really prefer to celebrate it that way. <laughs> but um, Carly did put the link in the chat for anybody who wants to get tickets. She put the link in the chat. So um, please uh, check out the link and register either way. Like Austin, Texas is a fun city to be in. And I guess it will be nice to, you know, like have, this type of event with you know, like top speakers and top people from you know, like our company, um, they are be present in person and have fun time. But uh, if you cannot do it, if it's not a good time, like uh, please please uh, consider registering uh, to virtually be present uh, for the mega camp, and it will be. Um, a very nice way to restart at the end of the summer and prepare for you know, like the ending of um, for last quarter of 2022. Does anybody have any questions about this? I do. Hello, everybody. I'm Terry. Hi, um, Terry. Hey. So for this camp, I'll be on a cruise. Um, I was wondering, will there will, will there be something happen later on during the year, like another camp? Yeah, so there is, you know, like several, you know, like opportunities for us to get together with the agents from the rest of the country, you know, like just to, you know, like be able to visit different workshops, which you know, like are super helpful, but also to be able to build network with the agents in different parts of the country and you know, like open up opportunities for like refer referral business. So uh -huh. you know, like this is happening and the, you know, like um, at the end of August, but uh, there is two more, um, I believe um, the, um, family uh tracy please remind me of the a family reunion oh, family reunion <laughs> and i believe that's usually in february right right oh okay so it's a little further out the end it's for some reason i thought there was something in october november and there like i believe that there is one more and the name escapes me at the moment if anybody knows mastermind <laughs> We have masterminds. Masterminds. Okay. We'll be, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, like, you know what, Terry? Like, uh, you know, like, I'll make a note and then, you know, like, uh, for the next meeting, we're going to have the dates and present the opportunities throughout the year so that people can, you know, like, put it on their calendars early on. And especially okay. if they cannot make it in August but want to plan ahead, 
and you know, like and you know know what's happening and when and also explain slight differences between each of them because they're not all the same so okay, like we'll perfect. do it like next week or like in two weeks after joey gets back so that everybody okay. plan can plan accordingly okay you're the best thank you absolutely and uh oh will God. was kind enough he just uh posted a link in the chat uh events uh dot kw dot com so i guess you can go there and check them out as well but we'll still do a little presentation and explain exactly what each event is about okay thank you guys thank you uh -huh. So uh, we still have our KW Larchmont uh, t-shirts uh, available for purchase uh, and there are $25 uh, each. Uh, there is a scoop neck and there is a v-neck and uh, Brian can let you know which sizes are available. So uh, please check in uh, with him. So let's see what kind of classes and events uh, we have coming up. So uh, as part of Productive Agent Launchpad classes, uh, we have uh, number one is Words That Work, uh, it's a script practice and held by uh, Renee Mello. And it's uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays from 8.30 to 9 a.m. And then there is Power Hour, uh, which focuses on lead generation. And Christy Bailey is the one who is in charge. And this is happening every day from 9 to 9.30. And then uh, Christy is also doing the new round of uh, Ignite, uh, which uh, focuses on, you know, like new agents and helping you get started in this uh, new career. But uh, yeah, I always recommend new agents and everyone else, you know, like to check out, you know, like some of the uh, some of all of the Ignite classes, um, you know, like every once in a while, because it's just a really, really nice refresher. And uh, at different points in your career, you are going to get different things out of these classes, which literally cover every angle of our business and, um, you know, like can help you remember some things that you forgot to, you know, like make part of your business and um, help you maybe to rethink how you're doing things. And um, this uh, session started on May 31st and goes on until June 27th. And um, I always recommend seeing them in the order they're presented. But if there are some sessions that you have missed that you'd like to see, uh, all of these classes are also posted online and uh, can be checked in your free time, whatever it is. So uh, this uh, run of Ignite goes on from 10 until 11.30 every day until June 27th. Then uh, KW uh, Tech is also you know, like every day from 10 to 11 covering many different you know, like subjects, you know, like to um, just prepare you from tech side on you know, like how you can do things in a more meaningful and efficient way uh, on June 15th. Uh, team overview, like June 16th, Designs 101. Uh, so it helps you, you know, like create little graphics, which you can use, you know, like for your uh, marketing and, you know, like when you're reaching out to clients. Uh, on June 17th, uh, it focuses on listings and landing pages. Uh, June 20th, Facebook 
ads overview and on June 21st, command overview. And uh, unconscious bias in real estate uh, with Julia Lachey Israel is happening on uh, June 15th, which is today at noon via Zoom. So it's happening right after uh, our meeting. Um, recognize how our brains unconsciously produce bias, learn the different types of bias and how each impacts business and uh, and they identify ways to correct this behavior both personally and professionally. Um, if you haven't registered yet, uh, maybe we can post a link so that you know like people can do it. And I see that there is a link to all classes and, and events that's been posted in the chat, uh, you know, like for on Eventbrite, and you can look this specific class and still register and be part of it if you would like. And then tomorrow, June 16th, uh, from 2 until 3 p.m., uh, David Eric uh, with Larchman Escrow is doing the Escrow 101 class, which uh, I highly recommend uh, for all of the new agents. It's, you know, like very, very important that you... You know, like understands what's involved and what you expect to be happening during the escrow and presented by the uh, escrow officers so that you know what hap is happening on their side as well and um, how learn how you can better manage the whole process. And then uh, on Friday from 10 until noon, uh, there is a buyer consultation class focusing on whys and what's. Um, learn how to conduct a structured consultation that you won't learn anywhere else. Learn to connect like never before. Shift from being house centric to consumer centric and add a new tool to your belt that will make your buyers feel heard and cared for um, and never go anywhere else. So Christy Bailey is uh, teaching this class this uh, Friday and I'm guessing this is probably part of the Ignite and um, definitely something that's um, recommended for new agents, but also for agents that have been around for a while. Um, it's always good to refresh our memories or you know, like what we need to focus, especially at this time when the market is you know, like shifting and it's not easy for buyers out there and um, how we can also um, address the sh market shift and everything else with our buyer clients. And the social media training class uh, with the KW Westside's team leader, Frank Bernardo is happening on June 21st. I guess that's the next Tuesday from 11 until uh, noon. Uh, it's a Zoom class and you can register on Eventbrite. Again, the link is in the chat. Um, highly recommend to all of us social media with Frank Bernardo. And uh, the feature class of the month with the special guest, uh, Jordan Levine, who is the Vice President and Chief Economist at CAR, uh, with the market update, the analytic outlook for the rest of 2022 and what we can expect uh, next year. And uh, we'll be able to learn more about the macroeconomic environment, inflation, 
interest rates, market competitiveness, and the local perspective. And um, again, that's happening next Wednesday, June 22nd from 1 to 2 p.m. This is like very, very important class and I'm so glad that we were able to organize it. So please make sure that you RSVP on Eventbrite and make yourself available. Uh, I guess we um, need to guarantee a headcount of 50, which shouldn't be an issue. And uh, I think that everybody should reg register for, for this. Uh, because there's so much happening and it will be so great to uh, hear from the, you know, like chief economist at uh, California Association of Realtors. And then uh, there's even more classes. Uh, let's see what else is happening uh, starting from next uh, Wednesday, June tw uh, 22nd. Uh, after this 1 to 2 p.m. class uh, with the chief car economist, there is a broker class with our broker of records, uh, Rich Pisani, from 4 to 5 p.m. I'm not sure what this class uh, will be about. Uh, I don't know if um, Carly might know, or Brian, if not, will be announcing uh, next Wednesday. Uh, there is also a lease mastermind class next uh, Thursday with Charlotte, Christina, and Tim. That's happening from noon until 1 p.m. Uh, June 24th, how to stay out of court and how to choose an inspection company with uh, Mary Kay. Uh, that's from 11 until uh, 11 a.m. until noon. On June 27, we have Fair Housing 101 with Peter Haven, who is uh, the um, our office like attorney, and he is. Uh, really wonderful and I'm excited we have an upcoming class uh, with Peter. He always uh, presents some, you know, like very relevant things and uh, has a really nice perspective on, you know, like our business, how we do business. So um, join for his class on June 27th. Uh, Christy Bailey is uh, teaching removing limiting beliefs and uh, this is on June 28th from 10 until 11.30. I guess uh, we can all use a class like this. And on June 29th, Christy is uh, teaching a class at the same time from 10 until 11.30 on way ways to go and find a listing. I just wanted to chime in. Um, I don't think we have a topic yet for the broker class, but as Rich um, emails me that info, we'll put that on the event, right? Sounds great. Thank you so much. Core services. Brian, are you with us? Yep. Thank you, Dragona. So just a quick one, um, we had an agent uh, bring to our attention the fact that her um, Instagram account got hacked and someone was trying to uh, reach out to her uh, followers or like mutual contacts that she had on there uh, to get them involved in some sort of uh, scam of some sort. So um, the important lesson here is to really make sure, I know how he talked about it before, but really make sure that you guys are using the two-factor uh, authentication uh, on all of your social media and email. Uh, so what that is, is that's the thing where when you sign in, it then sends a code to your phone and then you have to plug that code in in order to log in, which um, I know can be annoying, especially if you have like a social media person that's handling your accounts. Um, but it is uh, just so much worse if you get hacked. So please make sure that you have this two-factor authentication turned on. Um, this is becoming more common um, 
in recent uh, recent months. Um, so it now is more important than ever to make sure that um, all of your accounts are secure. Yep, and then we just dropped in the chat a uh, tutorial on how to set it up on Instagram, which is uh, the where the, uh, the agent was hacked was through Instagram. But this is happening on all the different forms of social media and your, um, your email. So make sure that you are turning all of that on. If you need any help with it, just reach out to us and we can direct you to a, um, a tutorial on how to get that uh, safe and secure. And yeah, that's it for me this week. Thank you so much, Brian. That's super, super helpful and important to know. Um, I also just wanted to chime in. I've been getting a lot of notifications from my bank. Um, just in general, hacking is like really outrageous right now. And if you get any unusual link sent to your phone, I don't know if Brian mentioned this, if you get a link sent to your phone that you did not request, um, you know, to change your password or something, do not ever click on a link. If it looks like it's coming from a bank or, you know, a card that you might have or, you know, something that's in your email looks familiar, just don't ever click the link on your phone or in an email. Oh, yeah, that's a good point because it is not only just email and um, social, but it is also um, through just your credit itself. A lot itself. of text message. Yeah, there's a lot of tech, text message uh, scams. So just be very cognizant when you receive stuff from numbers that you haven't uh, seen before. Always better to err on the side of um, not clicking any links that you uh, receive from uh, anybody that's, you know, that doesn't seem trustworthy. You can always call the person uh, if they are a real person to verify that it is a legitimate link. Um, in addition, just to kind of cap it off, um, it's also highly recommended that you do a um, credit freeze. So you can call uh, whoever kind of uh, is monitoring your credit, like, um, I forget what they're called. But, you know, one of the places where, uh, you know, you can call them and ask them to freeze your credit, which means that no new credit cards can be opened in your name, no new bank accounts, anything like that. Um, and then if you actually personally need to do it, you can verify with your um, bank or uh, credit card provider that it is really you, but no one can pretend to be you and then open a credit card in your uh, name and then just ruin your credit. So that is another uh, kind of safe thing that you can do to make sure that you're secure um, from any sort of uh, hacking or um, you know, identity theft. Thank you so much, guys. All super helpful. Andy. Hi, everybody. Lovely to see you. You too. Um, I'll just, I'll do a little follow-up to Brian's comments. Um, you can actually freeze your credit online through all three credit bureaus. It's Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. It's really easy. It's at the front of all three websites. It says freeze your credit. Really easy. If you, if you need to unfreeze it, for instance, um, also very easy to do. So I deal with that stuff all the time with, with buyers and clients and so forth. So that's really easy. Um, just wanted to um, check in. Obviously, things are a little wild. Um, rates, from a rate perspective, in the last, I don't know, four or five days, four or five business days, I should say, since about late last week, middle of last week, we've seen the largest rate increase in a short amount of time in 40 years. Things have spiked up pretty drastically. The Fed's just announced they are increasing um, the Fed fund rate, uh, which directly impacts short-term rates by three quarters of a percent. I know I sound like a broken record. This is to curb inflation. Inflation as is at a high. Um, depending on which index you're reading, um, it's it's 8.6 on one chart and, and um, over 5% on another. Um, they think that they're going to have inflation curbed by 2023 and then into 2024. Um, in order to do that, they're, they're increasing the Fed fund rate. So um, it just went up three quarters. The Fed fund rate directly impacts short-term borrowing, things like credit cards and, and so forth, car loans, all of those things are directly impacted. It obviously has an impact on mortgage rates. Um, what's happening in the market is, you know, if we're going to just break this down, if you're an investor and you're 
potentially looking at, at investing in a 30-year mortgage bond, right? That means you're investing, you're, you're purchasing a 30-year mortgage note and you are betting or hedging on um, that person making payments and keeping the loan for 30 years and so forth. Things have been so volatile. And of course, the Fed, the Fed's balance sheet and backing off of investments and, and, and all of that plays into it as well. Long story short, investors are, are a, little, a little shaky on long-term investments like 30-year notes. Um, which is what is driving up interest rates. As investors pull out of purchasing um, mortgage-backed securities, interest rates go up. And so while there's all this volatility, that's why we're seeing such drastic moves in terms of interest rates. Um, I will also say just as just a sort of conversation to have with, with maybe past clients or clients that, that are on the fence about the current conditions, Naturally, the higher rates are going to impact somebody's qualifying. Um, payments are drastically different and price point and purchasing power is drastically different from where it was in January. Um, I've had this conversation with several clients who initiated the conversation with me. It wasn't me trying to sell them on anything. It was them initiating it going, you know what? We know that rates are higher we know that our monthly payment is going to be higher, but had we been in this market six months ago or a year ago, we would be competing against 30 other people or 75 other people. And we feel like now, although we're, we're paying more on a monthly basis, we feel like we have a better shot at actually getting a property, which is where the opportunity is right now. People that were in the market, up against 70 offers, 80 offers, 35 offers, whatever it is, a year ago when rates were insanely low, the competition, the competition is obviously slimmed out because people's qualifications are much different. And people are also waiting to see what's, what's going to happen. Are we gonna see some major housing crash? No, not at all. Um, it is more expensive to, to purchase a property but wages are also up and, and so forth. So just food for thought. Um, I think it's important to have that conversation with, with clients that um, are on the fence or think that there's gonna be some drastic or major correction. Um, I, don't, I don't know that we're gonna see that. Um, I also know that if we're really leaning into a recession, which is very, 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 very possible, Historically speaking, it is a positive thing for mortgage rates. So I'm telling clients that are under contract now or in the, in the you know, currently house hunting, I'm saying, listen, all things are temporary. You might have to sack it up and look at these higher rates for the next year or 18 months or whatever that is. At some point, there will be an opportunity to refinance what goes up must come down. We've, we've seen rates at this level before and look where they were a year ago or two years ago, like 3% lower, right? So we've seen this before, it's, six, it's cyclical, all things temporary. It is a very good opportunity for people to get in, um, in a house where maybe they didn't have a shop before because they didn't have you know $200,000 over list price and um, we're up against, 85 other people. So that's all I have. And what's the latest, Andy? What do you say, like on average, like what, uh, uh, like where are the rates right now as of last few days? That is a great question. It of course depends on credit score, down payment, loan program. Is it a single family? Is it a condo? Is it a multi-unit? Is it owner occupied? Um, let's just call it a, a, a very cookie cutter, um, great credit score, <coughs> excuse me, great credit score with 20% down, with, you know, 760 credit score, 20% down on a, I don't know what, let's call it a, a one four price point. Um, on a seven year arm, they're hovering around the mid fours on a 30 year fixed on a jumbo in that kind of scenario, maybe mid fives. If we're talking about conventional loans, we are well into the sixes. 
So depending on somebody's scenario, it could be low sixes, could be mid sixes. It just depends on where, where somebody falls in the, in the qualifying bucket. So pretty big, pretty drastic difference from a year ago. For sure. And um, you know, like in your opinion, you're like, this is you know, like the rates are going to continue going up um, to be expected the second half of this and next year. I mean, again, if we, if we, if we go, if we're, if we're leaning in towards a recession, historically speaking, that is a good thing for interest rates, which would, which would, which tells me that we might see some relief with interest rates. It's just, it's, it's difficult. Obviously I don't have a crystal ball. Um, Nobody does. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not Alan Greenspan or anything by any stretch or Jerome Powell. Um, but um, as more, more data comes out and things like that, it's, 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 I think it's going to be rocky for, for a little bit and then uh, we'll get some stabilization. So, but I'm always here to answer questions. I'm happy to talk to clients, even if maybe they're not in the market. If people just really want to understand what's going on, I'm happy to have, have conversations with people. So just holler. Sounds good. Thank you so much. There was uh, a lot of good in intel there and information to keep in mind while we are talking to our clients. So thank you for that, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start sending out um, regular market updates. There's, there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of, um, a lot of articles. I don't want to bombard everybody with, with, you know, tons of articles. So I'm kind of sifting through things and I'll, I'll start sending things out um, on a regular basis. Sounds good. Raha, is Raha with us today? I didn't see her name. I don't think Raha is uh, uh, today with us and uh, I don't, I haven't seen Van's face. Hi, hi Dragon, I'm oh, here. Hi, hi, hi. So lovely to, that you're here. <laughs> How are you guys? How have you been? Good, good. Really, really, really well. Um, just a reminder for, for Juneteenth this week, um, on Monday, the county recorded for LA, San Bernardino, and San Diego are closed and so are the banks. We will be open for any, in, any title information um, needs, but those banks, I mean, banks and uh, the counters are closed and will convene on Tuesday. So if you have closings, um, please either schedule before or after. And um, again, you know, the, the, the big talk of the rates and, and Andy, Andy covered all of it for the most part. And, you know, just continue going out there, um, figuring out what your, your buyers and sellers, sellers want. And ultimately, you got to keep doing business because um, that's how you survive this, you know, the shift or whatnot. Um, but yeah, any questions on here, let me know. Thank you so much, Van. Thank you. Large ones escrow. Do we have anybody here today? I guess not. Mary. Hi, Mary. We um, can hear. Oh, oh, perfect. Yes, I muted myself. I'm so sorry. Um, hi, everyone. Mary Kay from Advanced Group Property Inspections. I hope you're all doing great. Um, I uh, am listening to all the updates and I'm learning from you. Uh, but one thing I also can add that uh, you know how we were writing offers and you guys were selling properties and inspection was waived and appraisal was waived and everything was waived. Now that you don't, most for the most part, you don't have to waive the inspection. Now the buyers can go back and renegotiate because we're seeing that a lot. When we're at the property, when we have a meeting every Friday and they talk about how when they're presenting problems, or, or good and bad stuff, the sellers um, uh, kept coming in to the conversation and saying, no, no, that's not a big deal. Uh, we can take care of that. Or that's not a big deal. I don't want this, I want this deal to go through talking to the inspector. So it's not as, as cutthroat as it was where no inspection, I'm not 
going to accept this offer. I'm going to go to another offer when there's and no inspection, no appraisal, no this, because like we all know, we slow down. So that's another way of also um, getting some uh, credit and also the buyer knowing what they're buying. Because most of the complaints that we have right now with our phone calls that we get are the people who bought the properties with no inspection and now they're facing a lot of problems. So they give us a call, finding us online on Yelp, what have you, and asking if we do inspections after close of escrow. And we also, of course, say yes. But I have a little questionnaire where we, add, we added that question now, asking them, may I ask why you want to do it now? So we'll know what's going on with the market. And they say, oh, when we bought it, um, I signed so much paperwork. And I guess I... Um, uh, I didn't ask for inspection, but I didn't know I'm not asking for inspection. You know how that goes. And now I want to go back to the realtor and to the seller and to um, anybody who was involved because I bought something that now I have mold underneath the house or my roof is leaking. Remember a few weeks, a few months ago, we had this all of a sudden one day of crazy roof uh, rain. We had so many calls that day because whatever roof, roof rained, they called us. Can you do an inspection? We didn't do an inspection. So that's for you and to sleep better at night because that's very scary that we don't do inspection because that's one of the most important things. And we were busy. I'm not trying to ask for business. I, we were busy. We were just did better than any other years when we had COVID and we had all that crazy year. But just know you guys, so you can maybe explain that to your buyers too, that now you have more choices. And now they know what they're buying. So they were paying so much more. And then on top of it, they didn't know what was wrong with the property. Now they have to fix all those problems, more money into that property. So we can always look um, at a, a, a cup full, not empty. And uh, interesting things when we came to America in 1979, um, we collected some money, all sisters and brothers, and we bought a house in Fresno. When we bought a house in Fresno in 1985, no, I'm sorry, 19. 82, we paid 17% on our rate. That's what the rate was. And we were excited we bought a house. So I know it's high. I know we got spoiled, but I think we're still okay. It's not 17, it's not 15. So that's something that I wanted to share with you because I always like to bring energy in and know that we are gonna go through, it's gonna be okay. And we are gonna make it as long as we're healthy. Because stress can cause a lot of illness and we don't want that. Um, so with this going back to inspections, I'm going to teach a class next Friday. And uh, I would love even for the seasoned agents if they can be there, because I'm bringing a lot of new updates with what's going on now. And also, I talk about case scenarios. And then I also talk about how to renegotiate your inspection, how to read the inspection report. Uh, and, um, you know, what's the best way of going through it? choosing an inspection company, as you know, all of you guys know that the state is still not controlling this business. There's no license required, no insurance required, no certification required, nothing is required to do inspection. I don't, anyone can do it, um, even though it's the highest liability, but even if you don't know how to put a nail on the wall, you can go online and get a form or what have you, do inspection and say, check with the specialist on every item, you know, get off the hook and now you have a report of full of illness. So um, it's the easiest thing to do, but it's the hardest thing to find a good one. This is why I'm very popular with you. And thank you all for always using us, for all of you who use us. You're always in my prayers. My mama, uh, who is now in heaven, every time I would call her, I would call her every day when I went to my presentations. She's li she lived in Fresno. And she would say, where are you going now? I would say, Archimon, Beverly Hills, Glendale, what have you. And she would always say, Whoever is going to give you business, I'm always going to pray for them. And just know that she does, even from heaven. So whoever gives me business, I always tell my mama who gave me business that day. So thank you for all the business. And I also uh, want to tell you that uh, you mean the world to me. In these tough times, please keep me in mind. Uh, let's help each other. Let's be a team. I'm always here for you. And you know that you with us, you would not get sued. We have not gotten sued since 1994. Little complaints here and there at the beginning. We learned from it. So try to be at the class. I, I thought I could be there and bring you guys lunch, but I guess it's not uh, in person, but we'll do that. One day I will just might walk in and bring you some stuff, but 
yeah, be there. You're gonna love it. It's an hour. It's fun, uh, and it's it's fast. And um, and then if you know something, and if you hear it again, you'll remember it again because sometimes we know something and we forget. And then uh, somebody tells us about it and go, oh wow, yeah, that's right. We this is how I used to do this. So it will be a good reminder. Uh, thank you so much. I don't want to take too much time of you, but thank you so much, uh, uh, Mary Kay. And uh, and uh, there is a link in the chat to register for uh, uh, Mary's class next week. Thank you very much. Thank I'll put you, my information you. in the chat for you guys. Sounds great. Thank you. Love you guys all. Okay. Let's see what's happening. We have some uh, uh, birthdays. It's uh, Henry uh, uh, Kaplan's birthday today. Uh, Michael Wegman's tomorrow, and Nelson Galloway's. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay Chang uh, on seventeenth. Simon Shahari on the eighteenth. Chelsea Kyles on June nineteenth, and Aaron Ramirez on the twentieth. Happy birthday to everyone, uh, and I hope uh, you all have a very wonderful and special day on, um, on your birthday. Uh, we have a couple of uh, new agents in the office. I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce it right. Mandy Zhao, uh, Osvaldo Larita and Jacob Han. Wait, welcome to Larchmont Char yeah, to, to Keller Williams Larchmont. And um, please know you know, like we are here to support you and help you any way we can and uh, look forward to having you on board. Okay, great. We have some uh, closed escrows. Um, Angela Bond and Christine Lindgren on uh, 366 Fisher Street. Adam Pergament uh, at 1407 Randall Court. Will Hayworth, 1319 uh, West 104th Street. Serge Tran, 8221 Langdon Avenue. Josh Mendoza at uh, 4805 Bellflower Avenue, like uh, Unit 208. Russell Rooney, 536 Indian Head Ranch Road. Josh Mendoza again, together with uh, Jen Hohenstein at 837 Northwest Knoll Drive, number 209. Uh, Barentine Group 534 Candle Avenue, uh, Laura Anderson and Bella Guerra at uh, two closing, uh, two new escrows at uh, 1734 North Fuller Avenue and also 3711 York Boulevard. Byron Field at 1714 uh, East. Erie Street and met the lobby at uh, 3836 Bentley Avenue. Uh, we have more. David Hitt at 22600 Dolores Street, Peter O, 6058 Shirley Avenue. Josh Mentosa, two more at 3765 Longview Valley Road and 131 North Croft Avenue, number 202. Gabriel Valdez at 44051 22nd Street. Tiffany Chin, uh, 620 South Gramercy Place, uh, number 308. And Tiffany and Rachel, two new escrows at 908 North. Benton Way and 6728 uh, Helico Avenue. Hayden Adler, uh, two new escrows are 460 South Spring Street and 360 South Canmore Avenue. Charlotte at 9478 Cherokee Lane. 
Tim Minerschmidt, 404 South Cloverdale Avenue, Linda Roth, 1427 West 103rd Street, Gina Ibarola at 4911 West 12th Street, Day Park, 1263 Westchester Place, and Christina Kim at 12065 Lamplighter Lane. Congratulations to all of you, wishing you smooth escrows. We have uh, some closed leases. Congratulations to Alyssa Bellia for 555 West Sierra Madre Boulevard and 508 Glenwood Road. Jan Cherney, 1050 South Grand Avenue and Christina Kim and Angelia Serrano at 436 South Virgil. And uh, we have new listings, single family residences. Uh, Lena Denerov has a new listing coming soon at 2144 Lakeshore Avenue. It's a two bedroom, one bath, uh, 1,043 square feet uh, that will be listed for just under 1.6. And I believe Lena is here. With us, Lena, did you want to say present this? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Dragana. Um, hey, everybody. So um, this house, you know, it's a California bungalow that's had a almost a hundred percent rehab. New electrical, new plumbing, new kitchen, new bathroom, all new landscaping. There's two bonus areas, um, a flex space, and a, an amazing A-frame cabin up at the top. So that those and a deck off the living room. Um, so that 1043 reflects the uh, bonus spaces, except for the deck. And uh, God willing, we're going to have our first open house this Saturday, two to five. And that's what I got. Thank you so much, Lena. Thanks, Dragana. Next. Angela Bond uh, has a new one bedroom, one bath, 735 square feet uh, listing. Uh, it's a condo going for 525 at 100 South Alameda Street, number 352. I don't think Angela is with us. Um, okay, the next. Uh, we have uh, Peter O and Myron Bang have a new listing at 2812 Sarang Place. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, single family residence in Costa Mesa. Uh, just over 1600 square feet and going for uh, 1299. Laura has a new listing at 8821 David Avenue. It's a two bedroom, two bath for just under 1200 square feet and being listed for uh, 1,098,000. I see that, I believe Maury is In the meeting, Maury, did you want to say something more about the new David Avenue listing? No, I think you got it. We're going to have an open house this weekend. This weekend. Thank yeah. you so much. And uh, we still have some new leases as well. Paul Yu and Alan Rio. I uh, have uh, a new uh, two bedroom, two bath, 1140 square feet listing at 1234 Wilshire Boulevard, unit number 306. And this is being listed for 3450. Heidi Davis has a new listing, a lease listing in Altadena uh, at 1575 East Loma Alta Drive. 
It's a three bedroom, two bath home, a little bit under 1700 square feet. And it's being list, uh, leased for 7,450 per month. And some income properties, uh, Joseph uh, Lee has a new three unit listing at 1319 Carlton Drive in Glendale. Uh, it seems like there is uh, um, one two bedroom, one bath units and uh, unit and two one bedroom, one bath units. The lot size is a little bit over 10,000 uh, square feet and it's listed for uh, 1,425,000. Is Joseph with us in the meeting today? I guess not. Okay. Any more income? I guess that's uh, it. So does anybody have any pocket listings? Um, anything else coming up that we should know about? I have a coming soon. Um, just got the listing agreement. It's out in West Covina. It's a three bedroom, two bath house uh, just under 1600 square feet 7,000 square foot lot a detached garage and they even um, had an architect draw plans to put in an ADU so if someone was interested in doing that the um, it's got beautiful landscaping it's on a cul-de-sac street uh, close to the 10 freeway um, if anyone knows anyone that's going to be looking for houses out there uh, feel free to reach out and what is it going to be listed at Hayden I'm still looking at the comps and stuff and uh, some stuff that's pending in the area, but probably around 950000 is what we'll be going on the market for. Okay, great. And when do you plan on listing it? Uh, as soon as we get um, just a couple of minor things uh, the seller needs to do, and then we're going to be taking pictures either uh, probably next week and then probably going on right after once those pictures are complete. Sounds great. Congratulations. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> okay. So uh, before we leave, um, anybody have any wants or needs? Any announcements? Anything we can help with? Got one, Dragana. Captain in, uh, Dragana to take care of this meeting while Joey's away. Yeah, thank you, well, Dragana. My pleasure, my pleasure, and uh, lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you so much for that lovely video at the very beginning, Tracy. Like I'm always, super informative. You, Lorna, do such a great job. You know. Uh, educating us and reminding us of everything, you know, like we should always keep in mind and know and understand better. So thank you so much. Always do such a stellar job. Uh, and thank you everyone in the office for holding the, you know, like Fort while Joy is uh, away. And I hope you will all get some time off this summer as well. Uh, have a lovely, lovely afternoon. And oh, wait, Dragon, I just want to just jump in before we sign off. I just want to uh, fill the bucket of uh, Carly, uh, our front desk. Uh, she, to let everyone know, uh, she will be uh, leaving us at the end of this week. We have a, a new person uh, in the position that we will uh, formally introduce next week. But I just want to really say uh, thank you to Carly for all the work that she's done uh, for us. I personally really appreciate uh, all the help that she has, uh, has given us in the office. She's been just such a great, um, a great person to, uh, to have on the team. So I just want to say thank you so much to Carly and um, that she will be, uh, she will be very, uh, very missed. For sure. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> I really Aww. appreciate that. I've had such an amazing time working here with everybody and 
definitely going to miss seeing everyone's faces around here. But if you come through the office between now and Friday, come give me a hug. Goodbye. <laughs> Definitely will. Thank you so much for everything, Carly. Uh, you ve will be very much uh, missed. And, uh, you know, I hope you have an amazing opportunity that you're taking somewhere else. And we certainly wish you only the best. And uh, please come back anytime if you're having second thought. <laughs> but uh, yeah, meanwhile... Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, we love you and we'll miss you. And you guys, uh, Itati is taking my place. Say hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> She's here with me training and she is awesome. You're going to love her. So can we see your lovely faces for a second? Yourself. No, we don't have What'd a camera say? there. currently. Uh, okay. Yeah, but you know, we'll, get it, all, yeah. we'll get it all set yeah. up for next week. Ryan wants all the attention on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good people. Well, thank you so much again. Uh, have a thank wonderful you, Greg, I look forward to seeing you next uh, Wednesday. Thanks, Dragon. Thank a good job. You. you too.